Welcome to the enchanting town of Eldridge, where the first snowflakes of winter gently fall from a slate-gray sky, transforming the quaint town into a scene from a forgotten fairy tale. The cobblestone streets glimmer under the soft glow of lanterns, casting playful shadows along the walls of Victorian and Gothic buildings. The air is filled with the scent of pine and the sweet promise of baked goods from the cozy cafe, where townsfolk gather, their laughter mingling with the crackling of the fireplace. This is a time of anticipation, as the town prepares for the annual solstice celebration. Yet, beneath the festive chaos, an undercurrent of unease ripples through the community, setting the stage for a story that will unfold in unexpected ways. In the heart of Eldridge's festive chaos stands a young girl named Lily Whitmore. Her chestnut hair is tousled, framing a face marked by curiosity and uncertainty. At 16, Lily feels like a shadow among her older siblings, their accomplishments casting a long, daunting silhouette over her own aspirations. As she watches the townsfolk hang garlands of evergreen and twinkling lights, a familiar pang of insecurity twists in her stomach. What if I never measure up? She wonders, her bright green eyes scanning the crowd, searching for a glimmer of recognition. The solstice celebration is in full swing, yet Lily feels a sense of detachment, as if she is merely an observer in her own life. This moment of introspection is interrupted by the arrival of mysterious letters, setting off a chain of events that will challenge her perception of herself and her place in the world. Leaning against the cafe's wooden doorframe is Eli Thompson, Lily's best friend. His dark hair is tousled, and his glasses slip down his nose as he crosses his arms, a picture of skepticism. It's just a prank, Lily. Letters appearing out of nowhere. Come on, he says, his voice a mix of disbelief and curiosity. Eli's skepticism is a shield, one he wields against the whispers of the supernatural that seem to swirl around them like the snowflakes falling from the sky. But Lily feels differently. The letters that have begun to arrive in the town are more than mere tricks. They are echoes of the past, beckoning her to uncover the truth hidden beneath layers of history. As a gust of wind delivers the first letter, landing it at Lily's feet, the townsfolk pause, their laughter fading into a hushed murmur. The yellowed parchment, frayed and smudged, holds secrets that will unravel the delicate facade the townsfolk have built around their lives. Observing the scene from her museum is Mabel Hart, the town's unofficial historian. Her silver hair is pulled back into a bun, and her eyes twinkle with wisdom. Mabel has seen the town's spirit, its joys and sorrows, and now, as the letters begin to surface, she feels the weight of the town's history pressing down upon her. The past never truly leaves you as, does it? She muses, her heart heavy with the knowledge that the letters will unravel the delicate facade the townsfolk have built around their lives. The atmosphere thickens with anticipation, a palpable tension that hints at the deeper connections between the townsfolk and the spirit that lingers in the ancient forest bordering Eldridge. As Lily unfolds the letter, she feels a spark of determination ignite within her. This is her moment, her chance to step out of the shadows and into the light of understanding. With the weight of the town's history resting on her shoulders, Lily resolves to uncover the truth behind the letters, setting the stage for a journey that will change everything.